A setback for the for one of the liquefied natural gas companies looking to settle at the Port of Brownsville. Anova LNG is expecting a tax break from Cameron County. However, a public outcry led county officials to delay that decision. Alfredo Cuadros is speaking with some of those individuals that are making their voices heard. It's a local 23 exclusive. The fight continues for a local group looking to take on the liquefied natural gas industry. They go by Save RGV from LNG, and this week they attend Commissioner's Court as county leaders consider a tax cut for Inova LNG, one of the companies attempting to settle at the Port of Brownsville. We met with the group near the proposed site of one of the LNG facilities. So we're going to get all the damage, we're going to get all the pollution, we're going to get all the environmental damage, we're going to get none of the profits, and if this tax cut goes through, we're not even going to get tax revenue from it. County officials decided to table the item and are now pushing back further discussion to a later date. It was not the outcome the anti-LNG group was looking for. Can we really, as a county, as one of the poorest counties in the nation, can we really afford to dish out an extra tax cut for these companies? Right now, there are three LNG companies expecting federal approval in the late July, early August period, with some, like Rio Grande LNG, already making plans to commit to construction right here in the Rio Grande Valley. We expect to start construction in early 2020 and finish the first train of LNG uh, by 2023, and that will correspond with the BIH work that we've talked about. You know, it's not a done deal. It's not too late to tell your county commissioners to reject this tax cut. Their opposition citing job increases and economic prosperity. They say it's about health, the environment, and the well-being of the community. From Brownsville, Alfredo Cuadros, KBEO, Local 23 News. Various cities across the Rio Grande Valley have approved resolutions opposing LNG facilities. And just this week, the city of South Padre Island is sending a public reminder of an upcoming hearing for Texas LNG.